Ya serikali nigo ya rarili ya mirobili ya yogo kini ya wako koreli ya wakuruwa se sekta ya wachanu na wasenechi sekta chinde Wakuwa na chinga kiara umba yigo mashu jansi kaunti ya kwale mwrewensi ya Kenya William Ruto Nigaboli ya wa Kenya kwa baba toereru iligu ikira ni mirobili ya wasi ikira ni mirobili ya mwye ya wako cha buku wakati chinyo mba Chio konyora wainse chinga kibo yigo wanya reko wakako teabu na mashu kinyara kwa babu chinchi ya vene kuruwa ini chaifu kuchia sham Ruto boi go ni ganya la koba ga koba bolia aba Kenya koba ba toyeru chinga kia serikali ya chinga la koba kigu ikirania emerobelio au au. As of the beginning of this month, 12.9 million Kenyans were registered with the Social Health Authority, and all public health institutions, and alongside 50% of private facilities, were already enrolled to provide services. I urge private hospitals to expedite the contracting process to enable us complete the final rollout of the universal health coverage. To accelerate this rollout, the government of Kenya has released three billion shillings to settle outstanding payments to hospitals and other service providers. I know this has been a major concern for hospitals that are owed by the former NHIF a lot of money. I want to give them my assurance that from next week, we have already released the money that will go into settling some of the debts that have held back their services under our new program. All housing program, therefore, we must at the same time move quickly to complement it with initiatives that promote health and well-being and secure work and livelihoods. As of the beginning of this month, 12.9 million Kenyans were registered with the Social Health Authority and all public health institutions and alongside 50% of private facilities were already enrolled to provide services. I urge private hospitals to expedite the contracting process to enable us complete the final rollout of the universal health coverage. To accelerate this rollout, the government of Kenya has released three billion shillings to settle outstanding payments to hospitals and other service providers. I know this has been a major concern for hospitals that are owed by the former NHIF a lot of money. I want to give them my assurance that from next week, we have already released the money that will go into settling some of the debts that have held back their services under our new program.